Welcome to the Psychic Scene with Jennifer Jean. I'm Jennifer Jean. So today we're going to talk about connecting with your spirit guides. And this is something I get asked about all the time. People want to know how to recognize their guides, what they can do for them, um, what guidance they have to give us. So I'm really excited to share this with you today. So who are the spirit guides? I like to think of them as your spirit team that is just for you. They may be spirits that are with you through different lifetimes if you believe in reincarnation. They may be spirits that are here to help you with this particular lifetime or with just a particular function in your life. They may come and go, but um, you do have a team of spirit guides with you whether you recognize it or not. They can be also called your higher power, your higher consciousness. But usually they are comprised of angels. They may be master guides or ascended masters. They may be your loved ones who have passed away. So um, they are here to function our life as a loving support and they help to guide your life purpose. They don't make your decisions for you. And I know that may disappoint a lot of you, but they're here just to gently assist you if we are receptive to their guidance. So just know that they are here to help with everything that we have to encounter in life and they'll do everything we can to connect you with what you need out there in the universe. I find that they, if I ask them a question, that they are most often right. I've asked about many different things and it's great because it's like you get your own free psychic readings with your guides. So why should we use them? They will provide you a stronger and pure connection to the divine. They'll help to increase your intuition and if you, maybe if you're working on more advanced level practices, they will help you to channel, they can help you with your mediumship and that kind of thing. So they are very beneficial for every aspect of your life. How can we access the guides? This is the big question I get. So I would say the biggest thing I can tell people to do is to meditate, meditate, meditate. And I like to call it a communion because you're coming together with this group of souls or these group of guides. Uh, and I feel like their time is valuable, my time is valuable. So I like to call it a communion. So what I like to do is when I get up in the morning, maybe after I have my cup of coffee, I'll sit down in meditation. I like to do some Reiki for myself, maybe work on my crown chakra, my heart, my belly, and then I send an intention out in the universe and then I just wait for their guidance. Um, and, and this really is a great way to get started on your day. So I'll tell you a little bit more about the process here in just a moment and things that you can do so your guides can help you better. How do we know when they are guides? How do we recognize that energy? I think that they have a distinctive feel and I think they come through as more loving and more supportive. Um, you know, sometimes we have those thoughts in the back of our mind, the monkey mind, you know, maybe being self-critical. Your guides will never be that way with you. They might have a little bit of tough love sometimes. Uh, they may not answer you exactly when you want them to. You may get the answer later, but they're really here to help us to, for our greater good. You may also feel those aspects of the five clairs. So you may get physical sensations. You may actually see them in some circumstances. Uh, maybe in your dream state, that's where I most often see mine. You may feel them, you may get chills, something like that. Um, or you may actually hear them. And I do hear my guides sometimes. So those kinds of things, you will actually get some physical input from your guides. So what are some exercises that we can do to contact our guides? So the first thing is just to get in a meditative state, ask for protection, divine white light, or whatever you like to do, and just be open and receptive. And what I like to do sometimes is after I'm done talking to my guides, I'll go find a journal and I'll write down what they have said so that I'll remember. Or, you know, maybe you'll do something like automatic writing where you'll sit there with a pen and paper and just let your arm go and whatever comes out. Um, and I, I don't do this personally, but I know a lot of people that do that. You may be artistically inclined, so maybe you would draw a picture. But I would say write down any details about what they may look like. They may not want to give you a name. 
They may not want to give you a gender. Uh, it might just be an energy that comes through. So recognize that it, it could just be that and you they are not personified all the time. Sometimes they are. Mine are kind of like, they show me that they look like they're inside of a little space bubble and sometimes I see more than one and they try to be funny and look like, you know, a little, uh, you know, something from another planet. I think that's just their way of communicating with me. But my guides call their collective and they call themselves Thaddeus. I don't know what that means. Uh, that's just the name I was given. I looked it up one time and it has something to do with the biblical, you know, someone back in the, the biblical days, but I don't really give it that much thought. I just know that my guides as a collective are called Thaddeus. So there are three ways that you can get information from your guides. So the first thing is just to be open to any messages that come through. I like to start that way with my day, just whatever they have to tell me, what I need to get through the week. They did that this week. They told me I needed to make this video. So I, here I am doing what they told me to do. Um, I also ask questions. Sometimes I have a, a specific question that I want to know and something that I need help with. And what you need to know is when you ask a question, be clear, consistent, and concise because otherwise they don't know how to help you. Make sure that you're very specific with the question because I like to say that energy goes, or sorry, energy flows where your intention goes. I'll say that one more time. Energy flows where your intention goes. So they're really here to help us. Another thing I like to do is ask for energy work. And sometimes they'll just suggest it. They'll say, oh, you seem a little tired. We're gonna work on your crown chakra or something like that. All I have to do is sit there, you know, kind of like getting a, a psychic massage. You just, you know, are receptive to whatever they have to offer you. Um, lately, they've been doing breath work. So they'll ask me to inhale. And as I exhale, notice my light getting brighter. So that's something they like to do with me, especially lately. So it helps to kind of increase my energy field and send my message out into the universe. So those are ways that the guides like to work with me. So I would like to help you so you can increase your connection with your guides. I can do this in a mentorship session. And what I like to do is maybe lead you through a, an individually designed meditation uh, where, you know, it could be something like a third eye meditation where we actually meet your guides and I can, you know, you will give me the details, but I will kind of hold your hand through it and make sure that you're on the right track and that you can recognize the guides that you want to work with during different stages of your life. So it's very exciting and very fun for me as a mentor. I am going to be starting a new program in March. I'm so excited and it's called the ABC Academy of Spiritual Development and I'm going to be holding classes online through Zoom. Again, I'm going to be starting in March. We're going to start with just a basic uh, level one intuition course and then I will kind of go from there and see what the students want. I'll be offering all these classes and I want you just to stay tuned for further details. I don't have it all ironed out quite yet but I would say sometime near the end of this month in February I will be providing more details about when it will be and how we'll get started. So anyway I wish you all the best. I hope this was very informational for you and I would love to work with you. If you would like to contact me, you can find me at readingsbyjenniferjean.com. Thank you so much for your time and have a wonderful day. Namaste.